This is the story of two friends and college hoops maniacs who set off to Evanston, Illinois to find out what Northwestern basketball is all about. College hoops to go. Back on the road. Headed to Evanston today to see the team that is single-handedly trying to save Big Ten basketball, the little basketball program that could, the Northwestern Wildcats, and my hero, Boo Booey. Yep, we're going to go see Iowa versus Northwestern. Last night, Michigan beat Michigan State, and he has let it totally alter the person that he is to his core. Am I allowed to speak? Yes. Yeah, I'm sad. We get to see Boo Booey. You love Boo Booey today. You love Boo Booey every day, but we see Boo Booey, who you love today. He's a very good basketball player. I'm very excited to watch my play. All right, this is the worst. I'm going to try to carry us today, folks. Allstate Arena. Good to see you've been picked up a little bit. Chicago? is massive like i don't understand how we're just in chicago and we drove through chicago like an hour ago but we're not in downtown chicago it doesn't make sense to me yeah it's, it's big for no reason it's me <laughs> northwestern brands itself as chicago's big 10 team i only cut you off but literally the welcome to Edison sign is right there i love that I, but i don't see chicago like is this really chicago There's also a, a car being pulled out of a parking lot right now in front of us. He must have crashed watching Boo Booey. That's not what I expected to crash and burn when we signed up to watch Northwestern basketball, but. <laughs> <laughs> Our first impressions of Evanston? Charming. A beautiful small town campus with a big city feel. At the Northwestern, I think we were asleep. We're always talking about committing to Champaign, Bloomington. I, it's been a long time since I used Sleeping Giant in an episode. There's a lake, Greg. Come on. You love lakes. I do love lakes. We pulled up to Graduate Evanston to drop off our bags and get ready for the game that night. Graduate Evanston, like every graduate, made us right at home. thing out of today's Northwestern basketball game, what would it be? Joy. You think you'll find joy tonight? No. Why is that? Because everything hurts. I could tell Cart's spirits were starting to pick up, so we made our way into campus to see what else Northwestern had to offer. Oh, uh, little house pictures? This definitely is like a cute little Sleeping giant. It was almost an hour until game, so we headed to Welsh Ryan Arena, where we saw the rest of Northwestern's facilities. It's extremely windy, if you can't tell by my hair blowing everywhere. Um, there's like doodles, like burning doodles everywhere. I like that. People are, people are generally pleasant here. I like it, I like it. I wish that, uh, like it, it feels charming. I wish that there was a little more like, we could do this. I'm making, a I'm making a declaration. Yeah, sure. I saw the like, I saw that Northwestern basketball is back. You wanna know why? Cause there's people outside actually scalping tickets to a Northwestern basketball. <laughs> that is good. They're back. I don't know for sure, but I feel like we're gonna see John Sherna today. I'm gonna fanboy if we see John Sherna today. Why? Because as a guy with an ugly jumper, he was a hero for me for 10 years. <laughs> Are you a big hot dog guy? More of a brat guy, to be honest. You're like a big meaty wiener. We made our way to Mustard's Last Stand, an iconic little hot dog shop that is one of Northwestern's most famous establishments. Hey, 
like the memorabilia? Big memorabilia guy. They got some great stuff here. They got some getting married. Just get something How's the dog? It's quite rough. I got fries and a dog and a drink. He choked, you just got a brat, and then we left and you immediately said I choked. Fire though. I'm good. Alright. Alright, hot dog review. Uh, what was the place called? Mustard's? Mustard's la uh, Last Stand. Mustard's Last Stand. Last Stand, first hot dog. Evanston, nothing's around here. I think we're at a bar, but I can't really tell. Is that dry? Nothing? Nothing. All natural. They're a pretty good dog. You say you love the brat, right? I do. Bun's not fresh. I'm gonna be honest. Bun's not fresh. Um, dog itself's pretty good. Bun's not fresh. Replacer's supposed to be like the elite. No, for a dog. I've made my own fresher hot dogs in this. I'm gonna give it a four. And I think that's generous. There's not a lot in Evanston though. Like at least not by the stadium. Maybe downtown Evanston later. We'll find more. Uh, right now there's not really anything. There may not have been much, but we found exactly what we needed. We walked into Ten Mile House, a great bar just a block from Welsh Ryan Arena. The vibes were great, and it got us ready for the big game. Short walk to the game, back to Welsh Ryan. Um, they, they put a lot of respect on the Ryan name. They do. Like, who's Ryan? Ryan Field, Welsh Ryan Arena. I've never learned a thing about Ryan. I don't know why I'm not walking into Ryan McIntosh Fieldhouse, <laughs> to be honest. Back before, back before Tony Parker cheated on Eva Longoria, his brother played here. Fun fact. Good player. This is true. Desperate Housewives is a good show? Definitely a good show. And if you haven't watched it, I highly suggest like going and doing that because there's like 19 seasons you can watch. That's a crazy plug. It's a great TV. It's a crazy plug. I'm intimidated by how many Hawkeyes are here and I have no rooting interest. You have no rooting interest? No. I have a big yeah, rooting, rooting interest. I love Boo. I do. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm really scared by how many Hawkeyes are here. Who would have known that Chicago is just full of Hawkeyes? <laughs> Carl, what are we doing with that? I don't know. Also, why is your media pass killing you? I don't right know. Now? It's got me in a tizzy, okay? Please. Is that Boo Booey?
Oh. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good hell no before an air bubble. Oh. Game at Welsh Ryan. Welsh Ryan. Welsh Ryan. Good, good on me getting that right, right? Great job. Get it right. I mean, everything everything you really could have hoped for in this game, to be honest with you. And I'm going to put my hand in front of the camera because I'm shaking right now. Because we showed up for a Boo Booey Masterclass. Northwestern 20 point win. Boo Booey 23 point. Greg in a Boo Booey Northwestern jersey. I mean, what, what, what is there to say? I respect 23 points with a dagger. And not only did he hit the dagger, not only did he dominate the game, he has the entire city of Chicago on his shoulders. And you don't see that on television. He's sticking around 15 minutes after the game doing this to every corner of the arena, holding a sign that says rank us with the student sections, literally hitting the doggy while the DJ plays it. This man is life. This man is college basketball. And more importantly, this man is so clearly the best guard in the Big Ten arguably a top five guard in the country. I had it before everybody else. I just hope everybody else has figured it out before it ends. All I want to say to end this is that if you're making a Chicago Mount Rushmore of college athletes in the year 2023 our Lord, and you don't have Boo Booey on it, redo it. This team's making an Elite Eight. I'm not even kidding. They can do it. They genuinely they got can it. do it. They I didn't get it. tricked by this team like I did last year with Iowa. They tricked us. Fran McCaffrey, we've been in two Iowa games this year. He has three technicals combined. I'm not tricked by this team. This team has a top five backcourt in the country. Guards win in March Northwest. You already here? Now I can't lie to you. After that boo booey performance and that victory, I was feeling like a wildcat. And when you feel like a wildcat, you do what wildcats do. So we made our way to the Northwestern University Library. We left Welsh Ryan Arena and asked students, where should we go? What's the post-game spot? And they said, the library. So we're going to the library. It was nearly 10 p.m. that Sunday night. And if you can't already tell, book smarts aren't really our thing. But I've never seen my friend Carter Elliott so determined. And we made our way to the library where we quickly found out it wasn't going to be as easy as we thought to get in. The library has tighter security than Chase Audige. Uh, you need a permit to film in the library. And unfortunately, all we have is our media credentials. We did not apply for a library permit. That's honestly on me. I'm a paperwork guy for sleepers. I got the credentials. I got the parking pass. The library permit slipped my mind. That's on me. All right. You've honestly shown more initiative in the last 20 minutes of wanting us to get into the Northwestern Library than anywhere else on this 10 stop trip. So I'm really disappointed for you. I'm sorry. I know it's been a tough couple of days. <laughs> While other Northwestern students continued to hit the books, we hit the town, and then we hit the bars. Our first stop was Bat 17, where you can get the best beverages that Evanston has to offer amidst other Northwestern fans looking to celebrate that night's win. After enjoying our time at Bat 17, we linked up with a couple friends before hitting our next stop. But along the way, we started realizing that we wanted more for Northwestern basketball fans. It is it's on Tuesday what? nights and it's because it has trivia. That's, ridi yeah, that's ridiculous. Has you guys have a backcourt of Boo Boo and Chase Audis, and this is what we're getting. Evanston is, is, is asleep. Your backcourt is boo booing Chase RD. These boos should be killed. Northwestern's really good. Yes. Can we say that at this point? Yeah, absolutely. Can we say they're in line for a March run? March run or like bid? I feel like everybody's excited about the bid. Like we, we, have, we have to be. 
we had the halftime show today talking about we're going to the tournament. Everybody's yeah. hype. I love that. I want more than going to the tournament. For this crazy. I feel like the moment that was exciting to go to the tournament was five years ago. Okay. This team could do more than that. They could, but like, to me, well, well, we gotta for, want it. We do want it. I want it, but like, I don't know. Like if they get, if they end up on the five line, like I'm not unconvinced that like if they play like Kent State, like sure. that matchup goes. Well. I think this team's going to the Elite Eight. Okay. I think the moment becomes too big in the Elite Eight. Really? But I think this is a top five backcourt in the country. I think that nobody appreciates Bubuli. Yeah, they fair? don't. No, that's totally fair. Also, I think Chris Collins is the coach of the year. In the conference or in the country? In the country. In the country. <laughs> I hope, you, I hope you don't cut my audio because I'm recording this. I literally want to toss my phone right now. Lead us, Kurt. Dear Evanston God, we pray to you and we thank you for giving us Budarius Bowie to lead this time. And though they may not know what he is and what he can become, we know that he will lead this team to a 316 and once again unite the town of Evanston. And I pray to you that he has the bars open later at night. And I pray to you that he has this town in a tizzy. In a tizzy in a good way, I say that, my Lord. We pray to your good name, Boo Booey. Amen.